It's close to midnight. Something evil's lurking from the void. Under a loon's light, you see a sight that almost stops your demon heart. You try to cheer, but terror takes the emote before you type it. You start to cry as horror looks you right between your horns. You're feared, because this is Hollow's End. It's that time of year again, and Hollow's End has begun here in Azeroth. And this here is a complete guide to the event. You're welcome. You must trick or treat, wear some masks and costumes, and defeat the Headless Horseman over and over and over again to never get that stupid mount! Anyways, the event runs from the 18th of October until November 1st, so you should have plenty of time to get all of the new pets and toys. The new things introduced in 2017 are the ability to queue for the Headless Horseman at level 23, a new undead pet named Naxi, a new Xavius costume, and two new toys, the Horsehead and Tail costumes. You'll be receiving a spooky amount of Tricky Treats, the currency for this event, which will allow you to purchase all of the items necessary for the achievements, as well as some of the pets and toys that are available. The meta achievement for Hallow's End, called Hallowed Be Thy Name, rewards the Hallowed title, and is part of the year-long meta achievement What a Long Strange Trip It's Been, which of course rewards the Violet Proto Drake, which is beautiful. The first thing you'll want to do is focus on trick-or-treating all over Azeroth and Outlands. You can do this by going to most of the ends in a zone and getting the quest from the candy bucket located inside or nearby the end. There is an absolute ton of them spread out between all of the continents. I'm talking over 130. Minus Draenor and the Broken Isles, of course. I highly recommend picking up the add-on Candy Bucket, which not only gives the coordinates of all of the buckets, but also gives them a very noticeable icon on your main map. A huge shout-out to Wingdox, one of my viewers, for the recommendation on that one. Now, if you are only going after the meta achievement, then you only need to trick-or-treat in Eastern Kingdoms, Kalimdor, and Outlands. Cataclysm, Northrend, and Pandaria zones are not included, although achievements for those do exist. Trust me, it's worth getting as many of the candy buckets as possible before you go after any of the other achievements. Something new this year is also the ability to queue up for the Headless Horseman boss at level 23 and higher. Although, keep in mind, you can't actually receive the Headless Horseman mount until you are level 100 or higher, as it only drops from the epic loot-filled pumpkin once a day. The boss himself drops 880 item level loot for those of you at 110, and you can do that as many times as you'd like. Defeating this boss is also an excellent source of some of the items that are needed for the achievements, including masks, wands, the sinister squashling, the hallowed helm, and of course, tricky treats themselves, all found in any of the loot-filled pumpkins, including the rare ones. You need a metric ton of Tricky Treats if you are new to the event this year, and I would save all of them until very, very close to the end of Hallow's End. You never know what you'll get in those loot-filled pumpkins. Now, let's jump into the achievements and how to get them. The first is probably the easiest. Bring me the head of... Oh, wait. Just kill the Headless Horseman. You'll be doing this hopefully every day anyways to get the mount, so this one's easy. Check your head. Use the weighted jack-o'-lanterns to put pumpkins on the races listed. Pretty much every race except for Pandaren. You can get these items from the Headless Horseman, or from the crudely wrapped gift you receive from saving the low-level villages from him, uh, such as Goldshire, Brill, and Koranos. Basically, the daily that you can do at any of the low-level uh, zones, the starting zones, if you will. Nerd Rage. Earn 10 honorable kills while having the Nerds buff which you can get from eating the nerd candy fated to drop from the handful of treats that you receive from candy buckets. It lasts for 5 minutes and goes away on death. Basically, just queue into a battleground and have a healthy stack of these. You'll get this one pretty easily. Unfortunately, you can't get this buff in Arena, so the weekly brawl that's currently happening as of the time of recording this won't work. I tried it. Out with it! All you have to do is eat enough Tricky Treats to get sick. You can do this one whenever. It's random how many you'll need, but it's usually under five. I've gotten two, three times so far, so you won't be needing many Tricky Treats to get this achievement. Rotten Hollow. Do the seasonal activities that are right outside of Stormwind or Undercity. Those uh, dailies are Stink Bombs Away, Clean Up in Stormwind or Undercity, A Time to Gain or Build Up, and A Time to Lose or Break Down. Those dailies are also a source of tricky treats, so you should be doing these every day anyways. 
Next is Sinister Calling. Obtain both a Sinister Squashling and a Hallowed Helm. These are potential drops from the Headless Horseman, but they can also be purchased now for 150 Tricky Treats each. Again, absolutely wait until the last minute to buy these. You never know what you are going to get from the Headless Horseman. That Sparkling Smile. Use a toothpick. Yep. You'll get one of these from a candy bucket at some point, or I guess you can buy it for two tricky treats, but just, you'll get it from a candy bucket. The Masquerade. Get transformed by all of these wands listed in the achievement. This one is actually pretty simple now. Wait until you either have all of these from candy buckets, or buy them for two tricky treats each for a total of 14 tricky treats, and then check the pre-made group finder for Masquerade. Odds are someone is willing to use the wand on you while you use your wand on them. Giggity. You can also make a trial account and use that account to put it on your main, but really the pre-made group thing seems to be the easiest. I was able to do this in under three minutes just by entering into that. Savior of Hallow's End. All you gotta do is complete one of the quests to save a burning village. Goldshire is easy enough for the Alliance, and Brill works pretty well for the Horde. Trick or treat. Uh, just grab a candy bucket. You did it, yay. Tricks and Treats of Azeroth. Just like I said before, grab that candy bucket add-on and get ready to travel. Seriously, this is super time consuming, but get ready to travel all over Kalimdor, Eastern Kingdoms, and Outlands. And that's it for the achievements needed for the meta, but there are some others. There's Trick and Treats of Northrend, Cataclysm, and Pandaria. Same thing as before, just use that fantastic add-on and get ready to travel all over the place. I recommend actually using a Mage or a Death Knight if you have them. Uh, to get these achievements. My mage has so many portals, it's very easy to get around, but Death Knights also have easy, easy access to Dalaran, which means that you also have a ton of portals on them, because they can just use their port. Basically, anything that has easy access to the new Dalaran and Broken Shore, you should be using that race, or that class, I should say, to be getting all of these, all of these achievements. And finally, the last achievement, a frightening friend, Pepe! Just go find Pepe in your level 3 garrison. Really important, I believe, as far as I've heard, it has to be a level 3 garrison. For Alliance, he's sitting in the graveyard on top of a tombstone with a shield and sword beneath it. You'll find it. For the Horde, he is at 70.7, 90.2, on top of a stone with part of the Horde logo carved into it. And there you go, that's it for achievements. But you still aren't done with Hallow's End. While you are at your garrison, you can actually still partake in the dailies that were introduced for it to get the spooky supplies. If you didn't do this in 2015, this is a great time to easily do this and make your garrison quite spooky. As if it wasn't enough already, you are in your garrison. Or you can convert these spooky supplies to e earn even more tricky treats. Each one converts to one tricky treat. More importantly, you can use five of these spooky supplies to buy creepy crawlies for your garrison, giving you ask access to three uncageable pets that you might not have gotten in 2015. And speaking of pets, Hallow's End has a total of nine that are available. The three I just mentioned, the Sinister Squashling, the Feline Familiar, and the Creepy Crate. Those are all from actually 2014, if I'm not mistaken, or even before that. The Creepy Crate is a short quest line to get that, and that starts in either Stormwind or Orgrimmar. Uh, you'll find it, it's usually in the inn where you get your candy bucket. The Cursed Berman and Widget the Departed are two undead cat pets that you can get. I think those are the ones that were interested in, uh, introduced in 2014. And finally, new this year, Naxi! It's Naxxramas, but a pet? I, I don't know. All of these cost 150 tricky treats each. So again, you're going to need a lot of them. And finally, for you toy collectors, you can still get the toy Coin of Many Faces from the Draenor Daily Mobs and the level 3 Garrison Spider Arachnus, who drops the Sack of Spectral Spiders once you get the Creepy Crawlies for your garrison. One final mention. The daily Under the Crooked Tree that was introduced last year is still available, and has the chance of rewarding any cosmetic transmog head armor. Hat of the first, second, third, or youngest sister. You must be level 98 or higher to do this quest in Val Shura. These look pretty good, they're basically big witches hats and are transmogable during Hallow's End. And that's it for this year's Hallow's End. Huge shout out to William Victor, producer of this guide video and incredible supporter of this channel. 
Thanks to him, I am able to do videos like this and stream as often as I do. Thank you so much, William Victor. I hope you all enjoyed this video and good luck on the Headless Horseman mount. Showing up on screen right now is a bunch of links to videos as well as a link to patreon.com slash missiledineonline where you can join people like William Victor for just a dollar a month. Thank you for watching and remember, never give up, never surrender to the Headless Horseman.